mastered SQL. Hell, you might even be a Spark Ninja and still not landed an interview. You know why? Because getting hired isn't just about being technical. It's about being smart with your approach. So here I am. Why this video matters? In this video, I'm breaking down the real roadmap to get hired as a data engineer part two. And I've also introduced part one in my description channel. You can go through it. So even if you're not from IIT, even if you're not from, you know, fancy product company, just real step and real strategy, let's go. So the step one is like understand the hiring funnel first of all. So the hiring manager request a role, HR posted it online and within a day, 500 people apply. You must have been familiar with this situation, right? And you must have been seeing this every day when you're hunting for a job. So I haven't seen brilliant engineers struggling to land interviews while average coders with you know, smart strategies end up with multiple offers. And the difference is they might know how to play the hiring game and sounds familiar, right? So, but here is the catch. HR doesn't go through all the 500 resume An ATS applicant tracking system filters most of them out. You must be very much aware about this strategy, but only 10 to 20 make it to HR screen. How? And just five to seven reach the hiring manager. Have you thought about it? Like if you are not in that short stack, your resume is just digital dust. So the step two is resume that actually work is your resume has two jobs. Beat the ATS, impress the HR in 10 seconds, use relevant keywords, keep the format clean, and highlight impact, not just responsibility. Tailor it for each job, not just one job and you're applying for all the jobs. No, one size fits all resume straight to trash. Your resume is not a diary, it's a marketing tool. Understand that. Use ATS keywords, make it easy for HR to scan in 10 seconds, tailor it to every job you apply for. So the step three is optimize your LinkedIn Nokri portal. You are not getting interview calls, then stop refreshing your inbox and start optimizing it. So update your headline, watch it the keywords, post regularly, connect with people and in the data space and, sh and make sure your Nokri profile gets at least 200 appearance a day. More views, more calls, more chance to crack it, right? If you're not getting calls, if you have lost, already lost half of the battle, so engage with content, set a goal, at least 200 profile appears a day. The more calls you get, the more chance to convert, correct? Here, the step four would be not very fancy. Don't just apply to product companies blindly. Everyone wants to crack. Everyone wants to work with Google, Amazon, Netflix. Cool, but be a real. Don't aim for fang at day one. Start with service firms. Build experiences. Use them as a leverage to product, you know, switch to product company. Always have a backup offer. It gives you a power during negotiation, correct? And start with, you know, service-based company. TS Enforces, Wipro. Why so? It's easier to crack because they waited out your notice period first of all. You build your real experiences. Use that offer as a leverage letter to switch to your dream company. Now, uh, the step five would be very easy. Convincing HR in the first call itself. Once you're done with your resume, you're publishing it. Your first real test isn't technical. It's your HR call. So speak confidently. Be, uh, be honest. Don't, you know, oversell. Don't forget. Just be clear and genuine. If HR isn't convinced you're a data engineer, your resume stop right then and there. So the step six is crack interviews with confidence. Here, like what 90% of the candidates do wrong is they treat interview like a Q&A session, Q&A exam. Let's flip that. Turn it into a conversation. Guide it to your strength. Control the flow. It's your interview. Lead the story. Interviewers remember how you made them feel. Not just about you. Said. So this is very easy. Step seven would be presenting project that sell. If you copied a project from YouTube, trust me, L2 and L3 round will expose you then and there. And pick a real world, build something end to end, know every decision you took and why. If you're building, you can, you know, explain it. If you explain it well, you are hired. And that's the story about everyone and everywhere. So step eight is how to keep everything fresh. You are learning SQL, then Spark and forget SQL, been there. 
create a crisp notes add dedicated one day week one day per week just for revision and that's how you retain not just consume so the step 9 would be mock interviews is actually a game changer trust me or not find someone in the industry or maybe you can comment down below i can reach out to you if not use ai tools like chat gpt you can connect with them you can take a mock interview so the real things feels like practice right and the step 10 is what to do after you get the job got the job don't relax yet because you are new in this industry you have no internal trust so for the next 3 months deliver fast learn faster that's how you go from new joiner to a key contributor individual contributor so the final words that i would you know collect and say to all of you like remember this game isn't just about you know it's about how you package it present it and push through so smarter being smarter is always greater than perfect being present preparation is always greater than hope and being strategic is always greater than just skills if this helped you you drop a like hit subscribe and share it with someone stuck in the job hunt let's get that offer together and comment down if you got the offer we will more contribute in this channel and also it will help me to make the more content for you and suggest a topic if you have any let's can if you have any doubt let's connect in the top mid i can also drop a link to connect with me personally and get the mock interviews thank you everyone